friends, welcome to today's video. I am introducing a brand new box to you guys and then we're exiting, meaning this is gonna be the first and last time I unbox this on my channel, unless you guys want me to give it another chance and that's a different story, then I will do what you guys want me to do. Um, but my gut just says, let it go girl, let it go. And the box I am talking about is the All True box. Now think of it like a spinoff, kind of, of the Fab Fit Fun. The selections that I saw were basically all like household items, which is what pulled me into wanting to even giving it a try. Like I gravitated towards the the box just because I saw some spoilers and I was like, okay, cool. Like all those items are like household items, and you all know I love anything household, kitchen like decorative candles that kind of thing but then once i had an experience with their website the, the the way their shipping works and all of that i was so turned off by the entire idea of the um all true subscription that i immediately canceled even before receiving my box and it took about a month and a half for me to get my darn box after i paid for it and I did kind of sneak a peek already, so I want to dive on in, show you the items that I selected for my box and then the items that they selected for me. And then we um, will chime in as to like my final thoughts and all that stuff, because I already have them here. I didn't even have to write them down. They are all up in here. So like I said, this kind of mirrors Fab Fit Fun. You get magazines and you get your product. This is what their magazine looks like for this season. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, it is a seasonal box. Um, I forgot how much I paid for it. I think it was like 50 bucks or something like that. <laughs> they included a card. It looks like a postcard. I don't know why, but they did. And then you have this here, the guide to fall. Now we're entering winter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, I've had to wait forever for my box. When you open this up, you have all of the items that were featured for the fall box. Part of why I got peeved, like upset, I like this because it's just like you just, it's an accordion. You open it up and you see all the items. Part of why I got peeved by the idea is there's no pricing at all. That's number one. And that's kind of annoying about FabFitFun too. There is no pricing in the book any longer. However, I kind of got annoyed because they have what your choices could have been. And for choice one, these were not choice items for me. Like the speaker was not a choice item. This amazing looking smart heated mug, that wasn't a choice for me. I don't even recall seeing the bag, although I would have never gotten the bag. I don't recall seeing the bag either. I feel like these two were my only options, which were the stackable pantry containers and then the Seize the Day luxury skincare bundle by uh, Earth Harbor. So for me, it's kind of, I'm kind of like annoyed, right? Because these were no longer like, or they were not options available to me at all whatsoever. And I subscribed early fall. So let's be mindful of that. And then here too, like an essential oil diffuser, that was not an option for me. Oh, 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 this is another reason why I got like upset, okay? So I, I was on Facebook, never go on Facebook, but, and I do have a Facebook, I really never like go on there. So I decided, hey girl, like go check your Facebook, see what's going on, see what's going on with like family members, life, whatever, right? Okay, great. I go on there and I see the ad that says, if I were to subscribe, I was still paying full price, but I could customize my entire box. Like I clicked and it directed me from that link into their website. You automatically start to subscribe. Like they don't have all this detail. Like, oh, these will be your options. They don't give you heads up. Like this is sold out, nothing. So you sign up, you put your card information and then they allow you to make your choice selection. That's annoying solely because you've already charged me. So now I don't have a choice other than to freaking choose something. I didn't like that. Not at all. Not even a heads up like, hey, these things are no longer available for choice, nothing. And then to top that off, I was not allowed to customize my entire box at all whatsoever. I was able to choose, I think, four items and, and out of items that like I kind of didn't necessarily want. At the end, there was an alert saying, if you want to customize your entire box, upgrade to yearly. And I was like, that's not what the ad said. And I went over to Facebook and I double checked what the ad said. And it literally said, sign up now pay your $50 and you're going to get to customize your entire box. So false advertisement and I was so pissed off, I promise you. I made my choices because they already charged me, it was what it was. I made my choices and then I was like, I'm out. I immediately canceled once I saw that they charged me, fine, it's great, I canceled, I'm done. 
the box is here. So it is what it is, and I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you guys. But that was my experience, and I'm not happy about it at all. Um, the first item they chose for me was the Skin Nutrition Balm. It's a vegan balm by the brand Huna. Nothing against the brand. It's just, how do you figure that this is gonna work for me? How do you figure that I want this? Like, there was no survey, even asking, like, what are you into? What would you like out of your box? Like, once you pay, what do you want to get out of your box? Because I would would have definitely said all like home stuff, lifestyle. No. They sent this. And from what I can recall, this was like the only choice for number five, which means it's not really a choice. It's a standard product for everyone's box. So it kind of is what it is. I will be giving this away for sure. Then the other item they chose for me are these uh, measuring spoons. I'm not mad at these. I'll say that because when I looked at the other choice items, I definitely would have chosen this instead. I, to be fair, I always have Cam in the kitchen with me, so I figured these would be good for her to like play around with in the kitchen. These are actually silicone, which are very convenient, um, and like she's chewing on everything right about now, so I think that would be okay. And then this one is wood. I'm not sure if this is bamboo or not, but they chose this item for me. It's cute, and in comparison to the other items, okay, you know what I mean? Like, it's fine. Everything I saw in their advertisement as spoilers were really exciting. And then when I got my options, it was not exciting. Choice number three consisted of three items. It was a set of headbands, which I would not wear at all whatsoever, and it would not help tie either. So it made no sense choosing that. A like jewelry set and a mascara girl. I get so many mascaras and beauty boxes and I love getting mascaras, but I was not gonna choose that. So I went with the jewelry instead. It says 14 karat gold plated necklaces store in cool and dry place when you're not wearing them. The only reason why I chose these is because I figured they'd be cute for Ty to wear on Christmas or maybe even New Year's. Otherwise, like I would have just been, eh. And I know I'm coming off super negative, but I'm very salty because of the false advertisement. I'm not happy about that, like at all. Because they said I could customize my entire box and that was not the case. And I found out after they charged me. My next choice item was a towel wrap. Why? Because that was the best compared to the other options. And I use towel wraps. Like I think these microfiber ones are like really good for the hair. I love wrapping my hair in it and or ties and it just helps with the frizz and like kind of like reducing the amount of frizz that you have so i don't mind it i think it's cute i like the uh stripes and now it's not all negative because there's two items left to reveal to you guys and i'm actually really happy with both of them i got to choose a candle by biotanica it is autumn sunset persimmon red currant and coba mandarin and it smells so pretty okay so here's the thing fun fact i absolutely love candles I, if I could, I would have candles in every single room in my house because I love my house to smell amazing, okay? Okay, now I think that this is a really nice jar for the candle and it's reusable, of course. So once it's done, you can use it for anything to hold the pens, to hold your brushes. I mean, uh, even, oh, I can use this in my kitchen for my like bamboo spoons. It's a pretty candle, it smells nice. I don't know if it's a great burning candle or not, but I'm not mad at it. It smells really nice. And the very last item I'm actually really excited for are the stacking storage containers. I got it out of the box, so it is a five piece set. Call me lame if you want to, but I love anything for my kitchen, okay? And I just figured this would be super convenient for whenever I like open up cold cuts and stuff like that, like, cube cheese and I don't want to leave it in the bag. It would be just be nice to add it onto here. Just like shredded cheese, sometimes there's just a little bit left and you don't want to leave it in the bag. I mean, hello. You can just use one of the smaller containers to pop that in there. I mean, technically these containers can be used for literally anything. Um, which is why I was excited to see that it was available out of everything that I saw in the advertisement This was the thing that was available. So I was like snag it add it make it as a choice most of my feedback is based on my like first impressions of their website, their advertisement, the whole process, and the amount of time that I needed to wait to receive the box, really. That's just really what it's all about, like as a whole. I definitely think that there's improvements to be made. I hope that they make changes and or improvements. If you have tried the subscription service in the past and you have, or if you still have it active and you've had a different experience, please let me know in the comment section down below because I haven't heard of anybody really doing unboxings of this uh, subscription. So I'm really curious to see if you've had a different experience. Is it the same? Do you love it? Do you hate it? 
chime in in the comment section below. All right, and that is a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me. It really means a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.